Hi, this video is just to give you a quick overview of the process of blocking in one with a couple of different methods. You may be familiar with the, the ordinary kind where simply with a crown block such as this you'll put your felt over the top, block the shape and while the felt is still on take the whole lot and push it through the brim. Uh, once it's in place and supported underneath then uh, you can pull the felt around over the brim, tie it in your string groove uh, and then the shape is complete with one piece of felt. It saves you the bother of having to make the hat in two parts and stitch them together. Now this is all very well with a crown like this or a simple dome crown, a bowler for instance, um, where it can simply push through. But in the case of a top hat where the top of the crown is bigger than the bottom, uh, it simply doesn't fit through the hole. The, uh, the bottom matches the hole but uh, the top is too big to go through. So normally this uh, can't be blocked in one. The crown has to be blocked with one piece of felt, followed by the brim, and then the two stitched together. That has one main disadvantage in that the thickness of the felt on the inside of the brim here, when it goes up in the inside of your felt from the crown, it reduces the head size uh, considerably, even by up to as much as three quarters of an inch. So a method that would enable you to block in one with a topper would be very handy. Uh, so we've come up with this method here. This is a brim uh, that is actually made in two halves and can separate. So with these clips open on each side, then the brim opens. So I'll take my topper crown as before, block it, shape the sides, uh, leave it to dry. And when that's ready, I can take it off. I can turn it upside down. Again, the felt's still on, so the rest of the felt is coming up here and then I can put the two parts together the size just so that there's enough room for the felt between clip them together and shape the felt on the rest of the brim tying a string in, pulling it in and the shape is done with one piece of felt no stitching, no parts to go together and therefore no reduction in head size the head size of the crown, in this case 23 inch will be the head size of the hat when it's finished allowing for any uh, interior headband or ribbon, whatever you may decide to put in there. So when it's blocked, uh, simply open the brim again, take the felt off carefully, pull the parts away, and then open your five part block, taking the middle section out and the other pieces, and you'll have a blocked in one felt topper.